What is shaking, everyone? I'm back. I've got mail. And it is now time for me to open it for your enjoyment in this wonderful video. This is a new one. It's in a like a brown cardboard something or other. I think I've had them before, but it feels like this is like a naked card in here. So let's see. I got some pretty big, well, big for me stuff coming soon. I just don't know when. What is this? It's about a raw card of some sort. No idea what I bought. I still don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> there it is, folks. That's uh, I'm gonna guess that, that is a 1980. Yeah, I'm gonna say 86. Craig Kempton rookie. I don't want to spend too much time on this because everyone's going to turn the channel, but uh, this is actually a friend of mine who mailed this to me. I had no idea it's coming, and it's uh, really funny. So, there you go. Kempton, <laughs> good-looking kid. Good-looking kid. All right, moving right along. I should have known when it was uh, retard packaging, not to be inappropriate. I should have known. That's a real beaut, though. I feel like that's got to be... That may become a regular in the videos. We'll see. The Kempton Rookie. I'll be damned. All right, next card. <laughs> oh, I should just edit that out altogether. But he got me fair and square, so i got to leave it in. Just wouldn't be right to cut it out. Hopefully no one tuned out on that. That's a, that's a pretty good one. That's an early, early version of a uh, Columbus legend. Columbus, Ohio. Any of you that uh, know Columbus may or may not know the beer stoop. It's the last dive bar left on High Street. But this guy here, he's the guy that runs a joint. Owns a joint, actually. He can't throw a dart for the life of him, but every now and again he pulls off a butte. All right, next up we got the 2016 Topps Heritage. It's the purple refractor, chrome, which is why I bought it. I got it for less than 10 bucks. These are numbered out of $9.99, I believe. So I, I jump on these when I get a chance because they're pretty rare. Urias was a huge, huge, huge prospect. And he got into some trouble. I don't know if he beat his girlfriend or he did something stupid. But got into some trouble. But this guy, nothing has changed. I mean, he's every bit the man he was when he was a, this huge prospect. It's just taken a couple years. And the way the Dodgers do their pitching staff, you know, I mean, guys are up and down and hurt when they're not hurt. And they manage their innings so tight that it's hard to... Uh, get in there but he is in the rotation and you're able to pick him up really inexpensive right now next up this is a beauty i believe this is the second one of these i own now the 91 upper deck brett Favre rookie card don't know what i paid for it maybe it's on here i know i got a good deal on it because i already have one yeah i bought this delivered to the house it's a it's a BGS eight. The delivered to the house it was like eight bucks, so I'll do that all day long on a far rookie. Because finally these things have a little bit of value again. You're not going to get rich on them, but at least they're worth something. All right, sorry guys, this is the uh, first video that I've shot in a bit, so I don't really know exactly what the best way to open this is going to be. Be so careful using one of these blades that you don't cut the slab. That would be about the worst thing that could happen. All right, let's see what we have here. Actually, a pretty solid packaging job. It's wrapped in cardboard inside of here and double plastic, so 
It's not getting wet. That always worries me. I haven't had it happen yet. But what happens if... I mean, I guess it's insured, but... Every now and again, the mailbox will be too full or whatever, and the mailman will just leave it sitting outside. Porch isn't covered. That just seems like a recipe for disaster. Nothing has happened yet. But I'm sure it's a matter of time. I cannot get this open for the life of me. This is not one of my prouder videos. We started off with the Kempton rookie. I don't even think that's a rookie. I think that's a second year, third year. That is not a Kempton rookie. All right, next card. We have got the 2019 Tops Fernando Tatish Jr. rookie card. PSA 8. I've been picking these up whenever I can. I get a lot of 8s handful of nines but I got a lot of eights because right now the eights are hovering right around the ten dollar mark and that's you know what I can afford so I buy the ten dollar eights and they're going to keep going up right along with the rest of his cards it's just going to take a little bit longer because it's an eight we'll put Tatis behind the Kempton rookie all right next we have i'd like to get all this mail open in one video i'm shooting this sunday night monday is usually a huge mail day as i'm sure most of you know so if i can get everything caught up tonight i can just keep right on listing i've listed i've got over 200 cards listed on my ebay store now which is awesome oh and if you're interested in anything that you see here a lot of these cards end up getting listed uh my eBay store, and the link is in the description of the video. Next up, we got the 86 Tops Traded Bo Jackson Rookie Card. BGS graded at a 5.5. Bo's going up right along with the rest of them. And you see how bad that's off-center. The front's really bad top to bottom, but the back looks really bad two ways. Either way, 86 tops traded. Bo, got a good deal on her. So I bought it. I feel like I've opened a lot of those cards on my videos. Big on the whole 86 tops traded set. But who isn't at this point? Which is awesome because I was buying them all along. So I'm cool with that. Come on. The old fake bubble mailer, bubble mailer. The one they actually mailed it in was not padded, but they put the padded one where they padded it on the inside. Oh yeah, this is awesome. The 2004 Tops Philip Rivers rookie card. BGS nine. I got this card for ten bucks. Now, I am a big Philip Rivers fan. Just that's it's a fantasy football thing. I've had him for a long time. I love Philip Rivers, but I'm telling this guy is for sure a Hall of Famer. And if you look, they're not just going to jump out at you. But if you look, you can find, especially a lower grade, like you know a nine, you can still get Philip Rivers at a hell of a deal. Obviously, he's not he's not known necessarily like a drew Brees or obviously brady or anything like that he hasn't won anything is his biggest problem but philip rivers is a hall of fame quarterback that is still active that you can buy for next to nothing let him go out there and have a couple big games and watch that card this year it looks like he's actually going to be i mean he's always a playoff contender it's just they, they can never get it done in san diego so on he moved all right, next up, we got the 87 Fleer Update Greg Maddox rookie card with a huge freaking had a sticker on it. But I just use a real little bit of Goo Gone. Anything that gets uh, any kind of tape residue on it, a little bit of Goo Gone, man, takes it right off. And I just make sure I get the residue off the slab. But I haven't had any problem cleaning up anything. But this is actually a Maddox rookie card that I didn't have. So I'll hold on to this one. I think I have almost all the Maddox rookies. I accidentally sold an 87 traded Maddox rookie. And from what I can tell, I don't have another one. <laughs> Usually with these cards, I'll keep 
you know, I'll actually look at the cards and not worry so much about the grade. And I'll look at, you know, what stuff's going for. But I'll, uh, if it's going for a bunch of money, I'll sell the lower grade or the higher grade just because of the money of it. But anyhow, long story short, I sold a damn. Well, here's a good one, guys. I got five minutes left and a bunch of cards in here. I think I sold my 87 Maddox traded. I know I sold one, and I may have sold the only one that I own. And I'm not pleased about that. This is going to be another one of my bargain basement uh, card lots, I think. It definitely is. These are all cards, once again, I got for 99 damn cents somehow. And it was just a bunch of auctions. They ended like 8 o'clock in the morning. And it was lined up, and I just kept... I sniped the bids, you know, put them all in at a buck, buck 59, something like that, and got them all. First off, we got the 1980 Tops, Randy White, not his rookie card, not even close. His rookie card is like a 76, I think. But uh, 1980 Tops, Randy White, SGC graded, slab looks good, near mint, 7. That is an awesome card, I believe the Kempton in the middle. Next up, now that slab is a mess. This may be a candidate for the old magic eraser treatment. Now the problem is, like I said, it'll make the whole front of the slab look hazy, but it does kind of take those scratches out. But anyhow, 1980 tops, James Lofton. This is his second year card, Hall of Famer. Again, you gotta remember, I got all these cards for a buck. It was crazy. This one, I paid more than that. I think I paid like five bucks for this. 1980 Tops Tony Dorsett. You know, I've got a video somewhere, I definitely have it, of uh, Tony Dorsett in recent years. Maybe I'll post that one of these days. I've told the story in some of my past videos, so I won't get into it right now, but I had a little experience with Tony Dorsett. Great guy, by the way. All right, 1980 Tops John Riggins. SGC graded at a four. Old Riggins. The Diesel. He was an animal in the early 80s with the Redskins. I can tell you that. Looks like he didn't do a hell of a lot before that. 75 was a good year. Huh. I need to look into the Riggins year-by-year -year story a little bit more. Because I don't know it. I remember him when he was with the Redskins and the Hogs and that whole deal. When he was just grinding, grinding it out to look into his early career because it doesn't look like he put up huge numbers so i don't know if he was a surprise stud when he got to the redskins or i don't know it's interesting you don't see that anymore guys you know they don't they don't make it in the first year with a new team they're gone maybe two guys don't get a chance anymore all right next up Another 99 center, 1980 tops, Larry Zonka. Again, far from Zonka's rookie, but when you can pick up this card, now here's a cool thing. Zonka left the Dolphins for, what, three, four years? Anyhow, he came back and ended his career in Miami, and I would much rather have a Zonka Dolphins card, even after if it even have if it is after he left. And came back, at least it's Larry Zonka and it's in a Dolphins uniform. Like, I've been on a few of uh, Giants Dolph or Zonka cards, but it's just, it's not right. You want the Dolphins. Next up, we got the 1980 Tops Dan Fouts Record Breaker. For some reason, I've been buying a lot of Dan Fouts lately. I feel like he's one of the undervalued guys for some reason. But when you pick up Dan Fouts cards for a buck, two bucks, something like that, and then you know, do something like this where it, I did here and combine the shipping. Why wouldn't you? But another another one dollar slabbed card. Most of these will definitely go up for for sale on the uh, eBay store. By the way, 1980 tops. Dwight White, 71. So this is not even an early Dwight White, but it was a 99 cent card. And where I'm at in Ohio, it's unfortunate, but anything Steelers will sell around here. So when you have a buck into it, why the hell not? And last but not least, we got the 1980 Tops Carl Eller, Hall of Famer Carl Eller, the Seahawks. I realize he played at the Seahawks. 
Must be at the end of the career. He was drafted in 64. He was traded to the Seahawks in 79. So that's his 15th year. So this card's probably his 15th, 16th year card. But it was a dollar, so I can't pass that up. I mean, it cost him 10 to grade it, for God's sake. And he's a Hall of Famer, so why wouldn't you? I'll throw it up at the store for 10 bucks and accept offers on it. and Won't lose, at least. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much, Kempton, for the card, the autographed version. I like that he used the uh, silver Sharpie. Stands out. Um, that's it. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. I reply to all the comments, so leave a comment on the video. And uh, if you really like what you see, subscribe to the channel. I post stuff four, five, six. Just kind of depends how much mail I get or if I have anything relevant to talk about. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Later.